In this video, let's take a look at the set data structure. To keep it consistent, let's once again start with the characteristics. First, a set is a data structure that can hold a collection of values. The values, however, must be unique. Second, sets can contain a mix of different data types. You can store strings, booleans, numbers, or even objects all in the same set. Third, sets are dynamically sized. You don't have to declare the size of a set before creating it. Fourth, sets do not maintain an insertion order. An item inserted first does not necessarily mean it is the first element in the set. Finally, sets are iterables. They can be used with a for off loop. Now, a lot of these characteristics are similar to arrays. So let's zoom in on the differences. First, arrays can contain duplicate values, whereas sets cannot. Second, insertion order is maintained in arrays, but it is not the case with sets. Finally, searching and deleting an element in a set is faster when compared to arrays. All right, now that we understand the characteristics of sets and how they differ from arrays, let's head over to Replit and look at an example in code. To create a new set, we use the set constructor. Const set is equal to new set. The constructor optionally accepts an array as its argument. Let's pass in an array of three numbers. To log the values, we can use the for of loop to iterate over the set. For const item of set console log item. If we run the code, we can see the values in the console. To add a new value, we can use the add method. So set dot add and we pass in four. Run the code and we see the four values. If you try to add a duplicate value, the set will ignore that value. So if we add four again, rerun, we see four only once in the console. If you want to check if a value exists in the set, you can use the has method. Let's change set.add to set.has4. Console log it, and we see true logged in the console. To delete a value from the set, you can make use of the delete method. So set.delete 3, rerun, and we don't see 3 in the console. If you want to check the number of items in the set, you can use the size property. So console.log set.size Run the code, and this will return 3. Finally, to delete all values in the set, you can make use of the clear method. So set.clear. Run the code, and we see no values logged in the console. This pretty much is about the set data structure in JavaScript. In the next video, let's take a look at the map data structure.